when you think about climate policies and everything that we need to do to reduce our emissions and to adapt and to be more resilient, it is so complex. And so I just want to give a quick example. I was talking with um, Jeff Nash earlier today about um, transportation emissions and, and air pollution issues because of transportation in Camden. And for New Jersey, transportation is the biggest, uh, is, it has the biggest piece of the pie in terms of emissions. So let's talk about electric vehicles for a second. We all know that we need to electrify our transportation sector. So light duty vehicles, but then really when we talk about um, air pollution in Camden, we're really looking at medium and heavy duty vehicles and emissions around the port. So from a policy perspective, thinking about what actually needs to happen and how many agencies and departments are implicated in that work. So the Board of Public Utilities, so their piece of that is really thinking through the very complex infrastructure and the implications for our electric grid and thinking about how, how all of that has uh, impacts on our rate pairs. Then you have our Department of Environmental Protection. They are mapping out where we need to have these charging stations um, and how all of this does impact our emissions profile. Then you think about the Economic Development Authority their piece of that is really working through the economic ecosystem of this, how we can make this affordable for residents in our state, and how we can use different pots of money to really work on our workforce development programs and our innovation programs to leverage this opportunity for folks in New Jersey. On workforce, we also have our Department of Labor that needs to be thinking about how to work within apprenticeship programs to make sure that we are preparing our workforce of the future for our electric vehicle uh, industry, which we know is going to continue to expand. Then we have our Department of Transportation, and they're thinking about how all this impacts our road usage and how federal money that's coming through needs to be uh, deployed towards electric vehicle charging. I say all that to just show one, one policy issue requires so much coordination and direction. It's very, very complicated. And so Governor Murphy wanted to make sure that we were really um, able to, to coordinate the different departments and ensure that within this policy work, we are focusing on equity, on diversity, on workforce development, and opportunities for folks who haven't had them previously in this sector. And so that's why he created this office, the Office of Climate Action and the Green Economy, really to lead that work centrally from the governor's office. When you think about all of the work that needs to go into electric vehicles, building decarbonization, offshore wind, storage, everything that encompasses climate, we know that there are going to be big implications for our economy. And as part of that, big implications for our workforce. And that's why the governor stood up the New Jersey Council on the Green Economy, otherwise known as the Green Jobs Council, because we wanted to make sure that as we are making changes in our economy, we're being very, very intentional. When you look at our energy sector now, the demographics are mostly male, mostly white, and we, and we know that if we aren't really thinking about how to take this moment and open up new pathways for a more diverse workforce, we know that that will probably default to jobs as, as we move forward. And at the same time, we know that as we transition to a greener economy and we move away from fossil fuels, there are going to be job losses in our current energy sector. And we really wanna make sure that those incumbent energy workers also have opportunities to continue family sustaining jobs. So our, our, uh, our unions here in New Jersey who are, who are um, so important to every, every piece of, of our state, making sure that they have a lot of opportunity for jobs in this new sector. And so that's why the governor put together this council uh, the first lady is our uh, honorary chair, and the leadership team is our uh, head of EDA, our commissioners of labor and environmental protection, and our president of the Board of Public Utilities. We have a number of members who represent um, different constitu constituencies across the state, including Kim Gaddy here, who's been, of course, probably no surprise, um, a really important member. 
Um, and we have folks from labor, from organized labor, from academia, from business, um, just really representing um, kind of all across New Jersey what we need to be considering as we are putting together our plan for transitioning to a green economy. And so where we are now in the process is we are putting out a roadmap um, sometime uh, probably uh, late May, early June, that really looks at what we need to do and what we need to be thinking about as we make this transition to ensure that we are leveraging this moment as best we can for the state and really focusing on diversity, having a more diverse workforce, ensuring these pathways for incumbent energy workers, and then really making sure that we are thinking through business opportunities, innovation, and anchoring as much of this new industry as we can in New Jersey. So we have three kind of big inputs for the council. The first is working with stakeholders, and this is this is meant to be a listening session, so I'm gonna stop talking very soon. But um, um, it, the stakeholdering piece is really important. Um, Reverend Tuff actually helped us organize a similar session in Newark where we got great feedback from folks about things we need to be thinking about. Um, and we've had, I think, almost 100 individual stakeholder meetings and we've met with a lot of small groups and we've learned a lot about how to think through workforce development programs, how to make sure we are um, including, for example, returning citizens. Um, just in, in all of the, all of the things where, from a policy maker, maker perspective, we might not be aware of or thinking through. And so it's really important to understand kind of real lived experience because the last thing we wanna do is put resources towards something that doesn't work. So hopefully we will all get a chance to, to talk about from, from all of your experience or of what we should be thinking about. But so that's the first major input. The second one is modeling. So we are doing economic modeling to understand based on all the policies of the Murphy administration, what we expect the green jobs landscape to look like in the next five years, the next 10 years, so that we can really think through what kinds of workforce programs need to be put in place to prepare our workers for those job opportunities. And the third big input is expertise from our council members. And it's been really great to have a table to bring all these diverse folks together and to really think through you know, how we can bring partners together. And I think uh, you were talking about partnerships just being very important to this and uh, the mayor was talking about that as well. That's a real focus for us on the council. And this is not like a box check council, like folks are rolling up their sleeves and really thinking about how to work together. In addition to our roadmap, we are putting together a series of pilot programs and commitments that really are kind of proof points to, to say, you know, we can do this. We can think about transitioning industries and opening up new these new pathways. We can, um, if you know, if we put our heads together, we can figure out how to, you know, ensure that um, folks who, uh, you know, who want to work in these industries really have that opportunity. It may mean, you know, putting additional uh, training programs in having more robust wraparound services. But what we're trying to do is bring the, the set of folks that we have at this table together to figure out how we can fill some of those gaps. Um, so we're really excited about it. Um, this is you know, the first step of many. I think it's important to set expectations. This is the first uh, big report that New Jersey is doing looking at this transition, and it's not going to be the last but it gives us a level set. It allows folks to know really directionally where we're trying to go. Um, and we're very excited about it as, as a kind of uh, line in the sand saying this is, this is where the state of